Hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube painting process video. For those who might not be aware, I was recently contacted by a site called iamag.co and they were generous enough to commission me for a tutorial video which I've since created as well as a mentorship program that I designed from the ground up that you can check out on that site as well. The link will be in the description below. So in light of that, I want to really speak about what it is about and as I discuss extensively the idea of style. The reason why I created a lecture on style is because I feel like a lot of people both underestimate and overestimate the idea of thinking about style. So in terms of underestimation, a lot of times people tend to just get told, oh, you just do things naturally and you'll find your style. At the same time, if you were to think in that regard, then you might fall into the trap of creating work that is not industry level or you're just doing stuff in a vacuum that nobody really enjoys. On the other hand, some people, even for me, I'll overestimate the idea of style where I will overthink it and I'm not really doing things naturally and what my subconscious is creating, which in all actuality in art, you really need to have a little element of that. So I created a two and a half hour lecture that you can check out on IAMAG where I will discuss those aspects. But for now, I can talk about something just briefly just to give you a taste of what the lecture would be about if you check it out. So the main factor when it comes to creating style is really just a mixture of your personal preferences and what other people's preferences are. Because ultimately we are trying to be professional. If you're listening to this, I will assume so. So there is an element of research and studying that you must do in order to be able to train your subconscious, so to speak, to prefer things that are professional quality. Now, you don't want to overthink it and force styles. So a lot of times uh, what I see is people love anime, so they kind of force the anime style to the work and it just looks really unnatural. But even in actuality, if you check out all the anime out there, you realize that there are so many different styles of anime and a lot of times they're just uh, what the artist prefers to do. So it's like sight changes in the eyes, proportions, that sort of thing. And ultimately, what determines your style? It's really what you want to show the world and share with the world. So for instance, if you genuinely believe in a certain look, a certain style that you want to bring to this world, then you have every right to create artwork in that style and in your own way. A lot of times during your career, you're, you'll start to see what you prefer and what you don't. And it becomes a process of elimination where you are trying to sort of figure out what you actually like. There's a difference, for instance, between liking some sort of media that you watch and actually doing the, that sort of style. This is something that I find with a lot of uh, people who grow up on anime. A lot of times anime is a great way of introducing people into the art world, but when they start playing around with their work more and create more artwork, they realize that perhaps anime, the process of creating anime isn't what they like. So that's where the deviation comes in. So really, without going into too much detail, because it'll start overlapping with my lecture on IAMag.co, you want to be analytical and really understand yourself. A lot of times, if you just go with the flow, just being natural, drawing from your heart, that sort of thing, 
it tends to be a little bit 50-50. You're either going to have the drive to build something that is really remarkable, or you, you start just working within the vacuum and you're not really improving because you're just going with the flow. Ultimately, there has to be a balance to it, and you really need to, as artists, understand yourself thoroughly. Hopefully you learned something from this little talk here. I'll leave the rest of the process video for you to check out. It is B from Pokemon. And it turned out pretty well, so I figured you'll like the process for this. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.